Tonight, NBA superstar LeBron James' son is recovering after suffering cardiac arrest at basketball practice on Monday. Bronny James was practicing at the University of Southern California, the school he committed to back in May. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Marcella Lee has the night off. Some experts believe the reason Bronny James is alive today is thanks to people nearby who knew how to perform CPR and how to use an automated external defibrillator, commonly known as an AED. CBS 8's Steve Price has more on what you need to know in that situation to save someone's life. You are seeing these more and more all across the county, defibrillators. Now, you might be scared to use one, so we're going to show you just how easy they are to operate and how important they are when it comes to saving lives. Bronny James to the basket. Bronny with a basket bombardment. Bronny James is young, athletic, and seemed to be a model of perfect health. But LeBron's son collapsed during basketball practice this week at USC. He suffered a cardiac arrest, which is when an electrical malfunction in the heart causes it to stop pumping blood to vital organs. And it only takes minutes before those vital organs start shutting down. According to the American Heart Association, approximately 95% of sudden cardiac arrest victims die before reaching the hospital. But Bronny survived and is already out of the intensive care unit. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. It's believed Bronny was treated with an automated external defibrillator or AED and given CPR within seconds of collapsing. Every second counts. Peter Hogan oversees all cardiovascular departments at Sharp Grossmont Hospital. He says you don't need special training to use one of these machines, but you do need to remain calm. They are easy to use. You hit a button and then it will guide you through the entire process. The AED step-by-step -step audio instructions take all the guesswork out of what to do. Even the pads you place on the patient's chest are already perfectly spaced for an adult or a child. You peel off the back, which are sticky place them on the patient, and you continue, honestly, to follow the prompts from the machine as you go through it. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Peter says it's best to have a second person helping during the process so one can focus on the AED and the other giving CPR because you definitely need both to have the best outcome for the patient. CPR continues to circulate blood throughout the body. So the, the body needs oxygen from the blood to keep your vital organs functioning. What the AED does is it essentially gives an electrical shock to your heart to reset it in hopes that it puts it into a normal rhythm of the heart. Bronny is currently listed in stable condition, and doctors say if treated immediately, patients can make a full recovery. Steve Price, CBS 8.